So today we are taking me out because I have been cooped up in my room these past few days. We're to the point if I stayed any longer, I probably would have ended up sprouting roots in it. So we are out in some much need of vitamin D. And yeah. A little update for the day. Uh, I'm on my way to see yet another art exhibit and I think I'm lost. Uh, and it's called All of My Life I've Been Afraid of Power by this artist and the entire exhibit is meant to be eaten because it's all made out of chocolate which is exciting and I think it's supposed to represent colonialism so heavy topic but I'm really excited because I haven't been to a contemporary art exhibit in a hot minute so look at that man inside the box I am now walking over to the gallery and I'm not actually sure if I'll be able to film once I get there, film inside, but if I don't get to then I will edit in some pictures for you guys. try and break off one of these pieces it's really hard A little disappointed because I didn't think the chocolate was gonna be that hard. I really thought I was gonna be busting down all the pillars, but it was surprisingly really hard to break, which I guess makes sense because if it was easy to break, I think the exhibit would have been over in a day because everybody would have taken down the whole thing. But I think it was a fun experience though. I've never been to an exhibit where I had to break all the pieces like i was supposed to break all the pieces and now i'm on my way to a bookstore that was recommended to me by a friend specifically curated with books on photography and i heard they have this book this archive book on this one photographer i think her name is ruth van beek all her work it gives me this strange sense of comfort. It's really simple yet very comforting.
starting to rethink this whole day because I think I'm the only one out. Everyone's at home because it's so cold. There's literally no one on the street. video so if you haven't checked that out already please do so i'm nearly done i think i may have maybe a chapter or two left i feel that it is extremely descriptive dare i say maybe a bit too descriptive definitely wasn't one of those books where i was compelled enough to read in one sitting which usually if i find a book that i really like it takes me about two or three days to finish because i end up staying up the whole night trying to finish it there definitely was some quotes and parts that i that really resonated with me and it gave me the time to think back on just life in general and relationships past relationships and the people around me and family. The last time I ordered the outline, I also ordered Funny Weather, Art in an Emergency by Olivia Lang. And it finally got here yesterday. We have been seeing this all over Pinterest and YouTube and I'm not gonna lie, I was just really drawn to the cover and if you see in the summary or the brief description I think it's just a collection of essays and columns written by the author and again, the cover is gorgeous whoever designs the cover of this book should deserve a raise because I'm pretty sure there are a lot of people like me who just bought this for the cover which is not one of my proudest moments I know you should never judge a book by its cover and I don't know if that makes me shallow but you know, I'm not gonna lie to you the color, the font and this little this little picture here never has a publication been more timely and also, I was really curious on what the title meant funny weather i i figured it was probably a metaphor for something i'm pretty sure it wasn't just supposed to mean funny weather and i found out what it meant on the first page i chose funny weather as the title because i was imagining weather reports sent from the road my primary address at the time and because i had a feeling that the political weather already erratic was only going to get weirder though i by no means predicted the particular storms ahead the first page already has me hooked that was it thank you for watching today's video i don't know if the content I'm putting out there is really worth anyone's time but I am definitely having a great time filming and editing it so I hope you enjoy the little videos I make if you're into people watching like me and want to keep watching a somewhat awkward introverted girl living 
her life in Korea and doing the things she wants. Then definitely subscribe and stay tuned for the next video. Bye!